Hey there athletes, Coach John Ferry here from Team Wilpers. Excited as always to welcome you to our athlete briefing. We're here for week number two of our end of summer challenge. It's a kind of our special Saturday edition here. We will be getting back to our usual Friday evenings here starting next week. So apologize, uh, I apologize for those switch ups. Uh, we'll start per usual with our week in review here. So. We either tested at the top of this week here or ran that progressive interval run. Either way, we should be really well set up to kind of kickstart the top of this challenge. So if you tested, you've got shiny brand new paces to kind of work off. If you ran that progressive interval run, really the goal was to test those paces that you have currently, make sure they feel in alignment with where that effort is supposed to lie. So hopefully that worked out for you. We had our key run number two, which was our hill repeat session this week or our interval workout but on incline it was 10 by one minute there we're working to build leg uh, leg strength and efficiency in the sh in your stride we're developing proficiency of hill running in general as we start to think that one of our, our sub goals of this challenge was kind of endurance endurance theme racing of the fall we're going to be looking at quite a bit of hill work as those uh, longer races tend to cover more topography more undulation Hills are, are bound to be coming here soon. Key run number three, our long run of the week, a nice, easy endurance effort. So this wants to be easy from start, middle to finish. You wanna still finish knowing that you had much, much more to give there. Now to our week two workout. So we're starting with a tempo run to kickstart this week. So very simple workout structure, kind of 10 minutes on, two minutes easy pace, eight minutes back on tempo. So 18 minutes of total time and zone with kind of a relatively quick break there. I think it's important at this time of year to remind a lot of people that marathon pace workouts really like in, uh, in these summer months in particular, really kind of mean marathon effort workouts. So if you're running the workout on a day that's gonna be 85, 90 degrees, you're gonna to have to relax that pace to make the effort feel more sustainable. The shorter the interval, so when you're working VO2 max intervals, anaerobic capacity intervals, much shorter duration, you're not gonna have the same negative performance impact as when you get on those long 10 minute, eight minute intervals on short rest, it's gonna have a more, a higher amount of negative performance impact. So once again, marathon pace really means marathon pace effort for these intervals. We're focusing on holding that kind of endurance race pace for an extended period of time. A lot of ways I like to describe it to athletes is I want you to go and think about, you know, if you're running this race distance on this particular day that we're doing that training run, how would you have to adjust your pace to meet the demands of that day? So, and that is similar to how you're going to have to approach some of these workouts, especially as these start to get a little bit longer. So for the third time, I believe marathon pace really means marathon effort for these tempo workouts here. This is an endurance uh, race prep workout, so we're not only looking to bolster our Z3, or kind of our tempo time here, but really start to get a little bit of a feel as we come towards the end of summer about what that kind of half marathon, marathon pace really is starting to look and feel like. So a good opportunity to hear, to practice in some kind of long hold intervals. Key run number two, our kind of hill run part B, if you will. So coming in an obvious expansion of last week, not necessarily recreating the wheel here, but going for longer duration sets. Why? I find it pretty rare that when you're running hills and races, they're only one minute long. Uh, so I'll use an example for anyone out there running New York City Marathon or having have uh, ambitions of New York City Marathons. You're looking at least of three climbs of uh, roughly a mile over the course of that race course. So take your mile time, break it out. It's probably, uh, I don't know anyone out there running one minute miles. So we wanna work on extending that hill. Uh, we wanna work on the same things that we worked on last time, but leg strength, efficiency, proficiency in hill running, be able to sustain an effort for a longer period of time and then adding, certainly as the interval duration increases, a lot of muscular endurance work that come along with those longer distance intervals. So getting ready for the inevitable inclusion of both incline and decline on your fall race courses. Even Chicago, there's a little bit out there, not much, but there's a little bit 
uh, that comes up on going over some of those foot bridges. Run number three, always our long run here. We'll all finish this up together nice and easy. And as I mentioned before, wants to start easy, feel easy in the middle, feel easy at the end, walk away, always knowing that you had much more to give. We are short on questions this week. I assume that everyone fully understands the assignment, which is outstanding. So we'll let everyone get back to their weekend, but have an amazing finish off to here of week one, an incredible week two. Can't wait to see you back again on our usual time next Friday at six o'clock for the week three briefing. Have a wonderful one.